What up, my friends? This is Joe, and you are watching Weizen Revuten. Um, I'm here to let me see if I can get the angle this way. I'm here reviewing a beer, Thoria, as per the usual, um, from Puchala uh, in Estonia. Uh, this is a beer that I think is relatively new. Um, because it just showed up over here at the um, Beer Lovers in Vienna. Um, wonderful bottle shop, uh, cool stuff, awesome selection. Totally recommend you check them out. Anyway, um, you guys probably know Puchala from their uh, Pime U, uh, Russian Imperial Stout, um, made for their uh, Black Current Baltic Porter or um, there uh, is another stout or porter that they have with the uh, cacao nibs, I think. Um, uh, anyway, very, very dank uh, brewery coming out of Estonia. Uh, much respect for these guys. Very excited to try this because this is the Kolmekorne. Kolmekorne. You can see the name right there. Uh, it is a triple IPA. Not a double IPA, but a triple IPA. Um, so, I am expecting this will be hoppy, and uh, I know it will be strong, considering it is a 13% alcohol by volume uh, brew. Um, kind of interested how that's going to work out, considering that the uh, IPAs, you know, even the double IPAs don't typically, you know, go much higher than, say, 9 or so. Uh, I mean, I honestly rarely see them above, like, 8 and 8.5 and or so. Uh, I think the strongest ones that I can even remember are uh, from Hetalia in uh, Holland. Um, uh, the you know the Bipa from them at 8.4 percent, and then uh, the Raging Bitch from uh, what a Flying Dog. Um, I think it was like 8.5 or something. Um, so anyway, 13 percent. I mean that's something that you know you don't even see every day on fucking Imperial Stouts. Uh, Oh, it's got quite a fragrance. Um, so I'm gonna see how it, I'm gonna see how that plays out, you know, with the uh, considering the fact that it is an IPA. Um, uh, before I start this off, uh, since you've probably seen it out of the corner, this cool little shirt in Budapest. Uh, from you know some little shirt stand. I don't fucking know what it was called or anything. Um, you know, one of those little tourist things. Uh, it was like eight bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Fucking Nick Lennon's dope. Um, you know, just so you know, I'm not, I'm not wearing an actual Nicky B's shirt. Uh, huge fan of them. Uh, but I digress. Um, so right off the bat, uh, give this a little snifferino. Got some, um, got some vague fruitiness uh, to the scent. Really having a hard time placing what exact fruits they, that I'm smelling. I mean, it's a very vague fruitiness. Maybe some berryness, um, kind of mango, peach, pineapple realm, but nothing really very specific. It's just kind of a very general fruit smell. So let's give it a try, shall we? Wow. So, um, hmm, it's very sweet, actually. Wasn't expecting that. Quite sweet. Hmm. Hmm. Very sweet. Has a, um, some sort of like a, Flavor of like greens or something, some kind of a salad green. Maybe like a little bit of like arugula flavor. Um, it kind of um, reminds me of the actually had a bottle of Christ, I'm across. a little bottle sitting right here of the Zamaklaus um, from Eggenberg. Um, kind of reminds me of that and how the 
like nice alcoholic sweetness, um, super, super diabetes uh, inducing, you know what I'm saying? In a less offsetting way. Um, the hops definitely balance it out. It doesn't taste too extremely hoppy. Um, it's very interesting. The, uh, the intense sweetness, um, kind of like a simple syrup sweetness, um, not very caramelly or anything like that. Um, Kind of ushers in slight bitterness, um, kind of sticks on the tongue and you know lingers throughout the throughout the aftertaste, but isn't super ultra apparent. It's not it's not like a hot bomb. I wouldn't say. I don't know what the IBUs are. Uh, it might have a high IBU count, but um, you know, for all you know, it might have a lot of hops, and it's just being masked by that sweetness. Uh, either way, it's kind of interesting. Um, reminds me a little bit of like a barley wine, kind of like a uh, like the Bigfoot from Sierra Nevada. There's an earthy flavor to there. An earthy grassiness, that kind of vague that bitterness, like a like arugula, you know, like that kind of grassy kind of sharpness. Um, quite interesting. Uh, the, there's some mild fruity notes, but um, they're mainly ushering in like a sugary taste. Uh, maybe some light blackberry. Flavor. It's very blackberry ish. Um, like blackberry, you know, some nice dry bitter hops, um, but like I said, not strongly bitter. Uh, it's, it's present, but it's not overpowering, uh, and it balances pretty well with the sweetness. Um, it was definitely one to sit on for a little while. Um, you know, if I drank this whole thing right now, I would. Probably, you know, my, what is it, my pancreas would probably just explode. It's really quite interesting. Um, kind of brings to mind, like I said, a barley wine, um, or like an extremely hoppy version of a Doppelbach. Not that it's extremely hoppy, but extremely hoppy in relation to your Doppelbachs. Um, it has... You know, strong, sweet, um, you know, malt flavor. Hmm. A little bit of plum or raisin on the back end. Um, I don't know. Very interesting beer. Um, I wouldn't say this qualifies in my you know, top IPAs, um, you know, maybe top 10, honestly. It's quite good, but uh, um, it's not what I would be seeking out in an IPA. Um, very nice. It's uh, got some balance. Um, has some like, like uh, eucalyptus honey flavor. Um, I take back the simple syrup. Uh, definitely like a honey. Specifically, like a eucalyptus honey or some other more fragrant, you know, wild honey. Um, you know, and as I take more sips, the bitterness is building up. Definitely has a stronger hops presence than uh, you would think at the beginning because of the overwhelming sweetness. Uh, and I say overwhelming in that it overwhelms the taste buds, not in that it's nauseatingly sweet. Um, and as you know, I'm not a big fan of sweet beers, uh, but I can dig this. This is really quite rad. Hmm. Anyway, guys, this is going to take me a while to finish this. Uh, I do want to note 
a little bit of a orange peel flavor in there. Um, so to kind of wrap it all up, you know, interesting kind of sitting in the uh, twilight zone between an IPA and a barley wine. Um, some uh, blackberry or maybe some like brownberry or uh, even like some light Johannesberry notes. Um, but leaning more towards the, uh, the deeper, you know, sweeter berries like the blackberry. Um, wild honey or eucalyptus honey. Some grassiness. Uh, grassiness salad green flavor is kind of like a, an arugula. Uh, or an endive, um, or even a, even a radicchio. Um, you know, that's what it is. That's more accurate than uh, arugula or, or even an uh, endive or anything. Um, like a radicchio. Blackberry, radicchio, uh, wild or eucalyptus honey. Um, all ushered in by this slowly accumulating but nice and strong dry hops presence. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, very interesting and different beer. This is the Puchala Kolnekorne Triple IPA. Um, a juicy, sweet fruit bomb of a beer with three times the strength and the hops. How it's advertised. Anyway, dank shit. I highly recommend you get it. Got it from Beer Lovers in Vienna, Austria. And uh, I suggest you pick up a bottle too if you have the chance. So, with that, I will bid you guys adieu. I have some other things to do. So, I will catch you later. This is Joe from Bites and Reviewsin. And y'all have a good evening and a good drink. Uh, until next time, I will.